right now it is time for sports and Yankee haters I'm sorry you're gonna have to put up with this okay because it is a big big deal and so is judge Now listen to that crowd. That is absolutely amazing. That game was not played. To be that people Roger Maris records in a total different way than other things are looked at. In major league sports all right and just so you get a full idea we're going to play both uh, what you just heard uh, Michael Kay his announcement of it uh, but also John Sterling's so let's go back to back fly ball deep left there it goes soaring into history he's done it he has done it 62 Aaron Judge is the American League single season home run leader. The AL King, case closed. All right, so that's... Uh, yeah, you can hear, of course, John Sterling. It's the 1-1. One, one. Swung on. There it goes. Deep left, it is high, it is far, it is gone! Number 62 to set the new American League record. Aaron Judge hits his 62nd. All the Yankees out of the dugout to greet him. Just think of it. Three Yankee right fielders. The Babe hitting 60 and 27. The Jolly Roger. Hitting 61 and 61. And now Aaron Judge hits his 62nd home run. The most home runs any American leaguer has hit in a single season. And the American League has been alive for 120 years. This is Judgment Day. Case closed. There you go. Uh, and you know what? I like Michael Kay, and I think he does a great job uh, on TV. But really, if you're a Yankee fan, and like when Phil Rizzuto was broadcasting for the Yankees, uh, you've got somebody who's just got that extra connection there. And, uh, and, and so it goes. Uh, and no, uh, is it the all-time home run record? No. But it's for the American League. It's in a non-steroid era. And you can hear it by the reactions of the fans in Houston. It means, it means something to people. It means something to people. So congratulations. So anyway, in that double header, the Yankees split, uh, winning the first game 5-4, losing the second game 3-2. Basically, everything's all set. The Mets uh, defeated Washington uh, in a, their double header 4-2 and 8 to nothing. But uh, when you take a look at the uh, at the standings, everything is all is all now set in stone um, for um, the wild card and uh, the uh, division. All right, so let's, we'll take a look once again. The Yankees, they win the American League East. Uh, they're going to go for their 100th victory today. Houston uh, has won the West. Right now they have 105. They're going for 106. And Cleveland had won the Central Division uh, with 91 victories right now, and they've got one more game to go. The wild card teams for the American League, uh, in first place, Toronto, second place, Seattle, and third place, Tampa Bay. Uh, Baltimore missed out by three and a half games. But how about Baltimore? They wound up the season 80. Well, they're going to wind up the season probably um, uh, 82 and 78. Uh, or, you know, 83 and 79. So uh, congratulations to the Orioles. In the National League, the Dodgers win the West with 110 victories. Atlanta uh, has... Uh, won the East, I, I do believe, um, and uh, with 101 wins. 
and St. Louis won the West, uh, 90, I mean the Centrals, 93 wins. The Mets uh, have 100 wins. The best they can do is tie, and Atlanta has a tiebreaker in that. San Diego is the next wild card team, and Philadelphia after that. So absolutely, absolutely, uh, the baseball season with uh, Albert Pujols and Aaron Judge has given us a baseball season that you wish you could have every single every single year. Uh, you just wish you could have it, but uh, not to be. Well, anyways, uh, taking a look at college football, some games that are coming up uh, on uh, Friday, 7th in college football. Nebraska against Rutgers. Uh, Nebraska is 2-3. and three. Rutgers is 3-2. and two. That is going to be a, a big test for Rutgers. Uh, and uh, Nevada is taking on Colorado State. Then there's some real big games coming up on Saturday. Uh, Michigan against Indiana. Um, you've got Tennessee and LSU, uh, a grudge match there. Um, you've got uh, Cincinnati against uh, South Florida. Auburn and Georgia. What a game that's going to be this weekend. Oklahoma State versus Texas Tech. Ohio State against Michigan State. Uh, I, the list goes on and on and on. Clemson against Boston College. Uh, it's, you know, Notre Dame is taking on BYU. I mean, there's lots of green. Alabama against Texas A&M. A lot of great games out there, and I'm glad uh, that I have Fubo because I can watch them all. <laughs> I can watch them all. All right, that is a check on sports this morning here on The Breakfast Club on Robin Hood Radio.